Hi, fish people. So, just an update with this conch. Um, she definitely is going to lay these eggs on the glass. Which, that's pretty cool. I mean, we're going to be able to see these eggs from a side, from an angle that, you know, you usually don't get to see them on. Um, I made the video earlier showing you this. Um, I wasn't sure if she was going to lay the eggs on there. She already been on the glass a couple of hours. And um, this process obviously takes a long time. Because uh, I made that last video a few hours ago. So she's been at this for a good six, seven hours. Um, as you can see, the little ribs as they go... You know, she started here, and they're flat, and as more come out, they come out straight, stuck to the glass. Um, we'll get a better, better uh, view of it when she's done, and um, I'll keep, uh, you know, updating videos of any progress these eggs make. Um, I'm going to do some research on how long it takes the eggs to hatch. Um, the cases are very hard. Uh, I believe, like I've already showed you uh, with these ones here, um, that she laid a few weeks ago, or about a week ago, uh, no one's been able to uh, penetrate them as far as, like, messing with them or eating them or anything. Um, they're okay. So, um, I suppose when she's done here, these will be alright. Um, you know, it definitely is pretty cool, and, uh, you know, it's something I'm interested to to see little conch come out of these eggs uh, one day. Um, that's really neat. Now, another thing I noticed that these uh, this uh, um, anemone they actually move around. Uh, I didn't know that. You know, I'm learning so much about uh, aquatic life uh, here um, that you know it's pretty neat. Uh, this guy's definitely cool. I mean, I, I'm, I'm wondering if these eggs are actually going to hatch in the tank. I, I think that'd be great. Uh, really neat. Um, if they do, um, I know that they hatch in large numbers. Um, I'll bring most of them back to the lagoon and set them free on their own little uh, life. Anyways, that's just a, a quick, uh, you know, update. Because I did make that video earlier showing you uh, the eggs. You try and just kind of get a zoom in there for you. There's really not much to see now. But uh, as she, uh, when she's done, and she sticks them on the uh, glass there and she goes away, I'll add that uh, to the end of this video. And I'll show you what it looks like then. Um, until now, um, you know, let's just, I'll hope uh, everything comes out all right for her. And uh, everyone else is really happy. You know, you see that uh, sheep's head right there. He's getting really thick. He's getting chubby. And everyone's, you know, even that uh, pipefish, the opossum pipefish, uh, you know, uh, that seahorse family fish, uh, he's doing great. He's been in there a couple months. So everyone's eating and happy. And uh, I'll come back a little later and uh, I'll finish this video off when uh, she is done laying these eggs on the glass which is going to be really neat you know we can kind of follow along uh, as these eggs uh, mature all right um we'll be back here in a sec okay so it appears she is done and the eggs seem like they are stuck to the glass um, I'll get you in a little bit there. So there she is. She's just crawled away from the eggs. And she stuck them to the glass. Now, I, I really can't see here in the video. But there seems to be some kind of like film um, almost like clear tape, you know, film between the eggs and the glass, and the eggs are stuck onto that film. Um, 
you can kind of see that when she first laid them on the oyster shell uh, but now they just seem to be individually stuck so I'm not sure if that's the way these ones are gonna go but for the moment they seem uh, pretty well stuck to the glass so that's pretty cool um, you know she got these on there and uh, we're going to be able to watch them, you know, from this side, uh, which is unique, uh, I guess. I, I don't know if anyone's ever been able to do that. I mean, I'm sure they've done it somewhere like, you know, that's pretty cool. I mean, check it out. It's the backside of conch eggs in my tank. It's pretty neat. Well, I'm I'm uh, I'm kind of uh, curious to see, uh, you know, what happens. Um, like I said, I'm going to do some research and find out uh, exactly how long they take, and um, you know when they're going to hatch and uh, <laughs> what makes a healthy looking egg and and what isn't. Um, if I find out that they're not. Uh, they're not healthy eggs or anything. I'm not going to follow it, but uh, they look a lot better than the other ones. Uh, there's more of them. They're more in a row. They're more symmetrical. So, anyways, uh, I'm sure there's there's the proud mother. I'm sure she's happy. Uh, it looks like well, let's count them there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a lot of them. All right. Well. Uh, you know, this will be something cool to follow, too. Um, I'll keep an eye on that, um, as well as, uh, you know, those uh, brown anemones I got going on in there. Um, I'd like to see those uh, more of those in the tank. You know, there's a lot of things I didn't uh, expect that would happen uh, are happening. I guess that's uh, one of the coolest parts about this. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoy this, because I really am. I'm having a lot of fun here today. Uh, and uh, you all have a good evening. Bye.